in Christianity, or when Jesus came, he made certain that the women were taught right along with the men. Okay. The person that I met, she said that that doesn't happen. She said that mm -hmm. the women are separated, mm -hmm. and the men are the ones who are instructed or taught or whatever, which doesn't fit with what Jesus said or what I agree with. So let me explain. Sure, that doesn't happen, first off. We have a mosque here in San Diego. We have lessons. There are women there just as there are men there. They learn just as men do. The prophet's wife, yes, they pray together, but in separate areas. As, as the original law of Christianity was, as the Jewish tradition was, that women prayed separate. Even if you go today, can I finish? Please be patient, I listen to you. Okay. Even today, if you go to, if you go to Israel and you go to the Wailing Wall, where the original Jews who have been worshipping for thousands of years, men and women are separate. It's not because one is inferior or one is kept away from it, but rather what it is, is that a time of prayer is a time of focus on your Creator. You don't want to be distracted by trying to have a natural urge, which everybody has naturally, to impress the opposite gender. Women could be superior to men. Sure, in, in knowledge, no doubt. There is, let, me, let me explain this. The wife, of the, the wife of the Prophet, let me just one last thing. My name is Uthman. Yes, so the wife of the Prophet, she was one of the greatest scholars of Islamic history, greater than any scholar alive today, and she was a woman. Her name is Aisha. She could read, she could write, she narrated. One of the top five narrators of hadith is Aisha. The Quran talks about hijab as a sanctity, as a protection for the woman, so, so she's known. That's in the Bible, not the Quran. That's in the Bible. So the Quran doesn't say that. It does not no. say you women have to. But the Bible, if you want the verse, I have it right here in in, in the Bible. Let me let me. Yes. So so one Corinthians in chapter eleven, verse five. But every woman who prays or prophesies with her head uncovered dishonors her head, for that is one and the same as if her head were shaved. For if, a, for if a woman is not covered, let her also be sworn. But if it is shameful for a woman to have be sworn or shaved, let her be covered. For a man indeed ought not to cover his head, since he is the image and glory of God, but woman is the glory of man. For man is not from woman, but woman is from man. Nor was man created for the woman, but the woman created for the man. For this reason, the woman ought to have a symbol of authority on her head because of the angels. That's the Bible. 